What's up, doll collectors, gift givers, and fabs and besties? I was at Michael's and picked up a few things. From DIY Modern Mini. Tons of little things we can use to create a mini dollhouse. And a few things that I think can be used in a 1-6 scale dollhouse. I'm not quite sure what the scale is for these items. I want to say 112 scale, but it kind of feels like it's varying. I was hoping we could use them to build a space for our Barbie Extra Minis. Or our Chelsea Barbie Extra Mini Hybrids. When we put a Chelsea head on a Barbie Extra Mini body, they do get a little shorter, so that might help with the sizing. At the store, I saw a lot of different rooms and dollhouses. I decided to go with the studio because it was the least expensive one at $12.99. Everything was buy one, get one 50% off, but even with a sale price, it adds up fast. It's a wood-like material. It's very, very smooth. And this is kind of small. It's about eight inches by eight inches. And it looks like everything just locks into place. Like a puzzle. I think it's some kind of MDF. And already, it kind of split right here at the bottom. Once assembled, you have a small corner room. It is eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter inches and eight and a quarter inches tall. There's a pattern on the floor, so you can totally just use it as is. There is a window, but I don't know. I think at $12.99, I would just buy foam board and make the room myself. I can get foam board for two to $5 and I can get a bigger room. But I do like these wall and floor covering packs because it says that they are repositionable. I actually bought several last year on clearance and I just never got around to using them. We can totally use these in our 1-6 scale dollhouses, but are they repositionable on any surface or just that one? There were also smaller packs with some fun colors. This feels very similar to a bookcase, so it might work on one of those as well. But let's go ahead and work with this space. I got this bed for $4.99. It's wood with a foam mattress. It's like a full-size bed. They did have twins and bunk beds as well. Here's a Barbie Extra Mini. The bed is a little short. Here's the Chelsea Hybrid, who can kind of fit with her knees bent. There was bedding for $4.99. It's like a canvas rug with fringe. And there's a little pillow. I probably will use this as a rug and then just sew my own bedding later. Here's a desk for $4.99. A lot of these pieces are made out of wood so we could paint them. And does this work? Oh, it actually opens. That's cool. What about this? The drawer works. Love it. Here's our Chelsea Hybrid for a little size comparison. Barbie Extra Mini, Hair Dorables, and LOL Surprise. I think LL Surprise is a little small for this space, but the bed works pretty good. Four metal stools for $6.99. It can't go under the desk, but I guess we could just put it right in front. And I bet you could paint them if you really wanted to. And the dolls can sit on the stool. I'm going to sacrifice one and see if I can paint it with nail polish. Oh wow, that actually came out pretty good. I did get a little polish on my nail, but... Oh well. Here's a cube storage unit for $3.99 and cube baskets for $2.99. These are pretty cool together. Let's decide where we wanna put that. Here's a plant for $3.99. If you're feeling crafty, I think you can totally make it for less. Here's a floor lamp for $4.99. I actually bought this same lamp last year and I use it in our Barbie style room. It adds a little touch of gold to this space. I think this one was $2.99. It's a smaller lamp. I'm totally going to use this in a 1-6 scale house. Here's a mirror for $2.99. It has a sticker backing so you can attach it to the wall. We probably don't need two lamps in this room, so let's remove this one and replace it with the mirror. Here's a dresser for $6.99. The drawers open and close. Some of them are a little crooked but we can switch out the desk for the dresser to change it up a little. 
Then add this coffee table to the bottom of the bed to use as a bench. It's actually a lot of fun moving the furniture around, creating different scenes. Let's clear the room and set up a kitchen. I want to say the refrigerator was $9. It is metal. It has gold handles and the doors open. I'm thinking we might be able to use this as like a mini fridge for a 1-6 scale house. I don't know, maybe. And let's try out the floor and wall covering. One sheet is just about the size of one of the walls. It's actually a little bit larger. It's kind of thin. It feels like a sticker. Peel off the backing. Now we're just going to smooth it out. It says that it's repositionable, but I don't know. This stuff is super sticky. I mean, I'm sure you can do it. It's just going to take some effort, you know? I have a few air bubbles, but we were able to change the back wall. Here's a kitchen island with a stove. We can use it as an island or we can just place it against the wall. Add the refrigerator. There's a range hood that has a light inside so it can glow. That's fun. You're going to want to secure that using double sided tape or glue it to the wall to make sure it doesn't fall because if it does, it might crack. I'm using putty and I totally don't trust it. Here's a kitchen island set. It feels like it's made out of some kind of resin, so you want to be careful not to drop this, but I like it. Let's see if we can add this console table, maybe over here on the side, so we have more surface area in the kitchen for all these little details. We can totally use these for our 12 inch dolls. We have some wooden jars, pots and pans, which are now taking up a lot of our counter space. Here's a little coffee set. Here it is in the hands of a Barbie. The cups are kind of like little espresso cups. Here's a little bread basket for $3.99. It has a wood bottom, a little bit of burlap fabric, and looks like polymer clay bread inside. It's a good size for different size dollhouses. Let's put the bread back here and the coffee up here. Clear cups and bowls for $4.99 are totally going in my dollhouse. The scale is kind of perfect for our 12 inch dolls. I think I'm only going to put the tiny bowls in the mini house. While I was at the store, I picked up this little bead storage container to hold the pieces I'm not using. And on the back of the packaging, there are little pictures showing us fun ways we can use the miniatures. I'm cutting those out for little pictures and inspiration later. Speaking of pictures, here is wall art for $2.99. It feels like a heavyweight cardstock with a wood frame. It does have an adhesive backing, so you can easily attach it to the wall. However, I'm using poster putty, so I can easily move them around whenever I want. Wooden bowls for $4.99. There are three sizes. I think this one is a plate, and there are a total of six pieces in this set. I need more shelving. For the little bowls, completing our little kitchen. The packaging does say these are for decorative use only, most likely not intended to be toys. So some things are a little fragile. I can't decide if I want to use the Chelsea dolls or the Barbie Extra Minis. I'm leaning towards the Barbie Extra Minis because I like their attitude. They just have a little too much hair for me. No worries. Problem solved. Huh, she fits better in the space. With one studio, we can still have a lot of fun switching out the pieces, creating different rooms. For $9.99, we can create an outdoor area. It comes with a wooden floor that's the same size as the studio, two wooden fence pieces that fit in the floor, and a piece of green foam for grass. Place it on the other side of the window so the dolls can look out and into the yard. I picked up this bench for $3.99 so we can decorate outside as well. Oh, it's adorable. But take care. I don't know if this is going to like rub off onto our doll shoes and stuff. So you've been warned. I wonder if we can use a lot of these things in our Chelsea house that we made a while back using foam board and printables. 
and it gives us a much larger space. Many of the walls in this house are removable so we can clear them out to open up the space. Bring in the new furniture and other pieces like the mudroom bench, a daybed, since we are limited on space, our little coffee table. I might replace this bench for the desk. I just keep moving things around, trying to get everything in just the right spot that maximizes the floor space. We got this little room divider that we can use to section off a bedroom area. And with the day bed, we now have sleeping areas for two. I might have to add a wall here. There we go. Place the bed against the wall. We can add the mirror and the floor lamp. I place the backyard outside the window. They do have cushions or pillow sets that we can use for the couch. However, I'm just gonna go with the ones that I made. Now that we know the floor plan, we can add some of those stickers, like the subway tile in the kitchen area. I wanna cover these up. So I put a little piece of wood contact paper on top for a quick solution. I picked up the Glamour Girl set for $2.99 it comes with wall art, a little mirror with a pink gem on the back, gold metal scissors, and a comb, giving us little random things to place on the dresser. There were tiny farmhouse books for $3.99. They have actual pages, pictures on the front and back. These will look good on the coffee table or the desk, and we could also use them with our 12-inch dolls. Here's an office set for $6.99. I already know this is going into my larger dollhouse. It has a little metal alarm clock. Unfortunately, the sticker is a little crooked. I totally should have paid attention to that when I was in the store. There's a little clipboard, metal pen, a desk sign that says girl boss, a gold colored pencil cup for the pen, a larger pair of scissors, and a gold colored ruler. Let's pair it with some more wall art. It has a sticker backing, so you're kind of forced to attach it to the wall. However, you could always just stick it to a piece of paper, cut it out, and then use putty. Giving us a pretty detailed little house for our mini dolls. I kept my color palette pretty neutral. However, many of the items can be painted. And there was more stuff other than what I got here like this dining table. It's metal with a gold colored base and a white top, and I'm going to use it as a side table in my 1-6 scale dollhouse. Overall, I think these miniatures are a lot of fun. It can all quickly get a little pricey. Personally, to save a little money, I would skip the studio or the house and just make something out of foam board to use all the accessories in. I would totally make my own plants and wall art but all the little furniture pieces and metal accessories are going to make my Barbie Extra Minis feel right at home. I probably had too much fun on this Michaels haul, but I really enjoy decorating in this smaller scale. And I wanna say thank you to all of you for joining us today while we redecorated our mini dollhouse with Michaels Fun Finds. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the Frog Vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.